Hello, my name is Admiral Sandy Winnefeld, and I'm the Vice Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The distance education program was fantastic for me. Uh, I didn't know it at the time that I was going to be going into the nuclear power program, but being able to get um, this work done from a distance and save that amount of time really helped me out in what was a very in intensive in, uh, uh, program of about eight or nine years going through that program. I just didn't have time to spend an extra year outside uh, doing this if I, were, if I was going to be able to, to step into the next level. And, and so it was at my own pace. It was uh, fantastically flexible. I was able to do two of the, the trimesters by correspondence and the other one by seminar. So I saw the full Monty, uh, and it was a very valuable program for me. Now, I wouldn't say that I ha ever had a real aha moment that said, oh my goodness, I'm so glad I went through the Naval War College program. Uh, but I can tell you that it laid a very, very strong foundation for a lot of things that I've done during my career. And it started to pick up, I'd say, when I was the uh, XO of an aircraft carrier, the deep draft command that I had on USS Cleveland. And uh, it really floor, uh, blossomed, I guess, uh, in, when I was in Europe. I would say with five different hats, a JTF commander hat, two NATO commands, and, a, and six fleet. Uh, the tools that I gained through the program here were invaluable at that point, and they've, they've really served me well ever since. As you get further along in this business, you start to get really, really busy. And when you want to also balance uh, some wonderful competing demands from family and the like, you, you have to become very efficient with your time. And so if you can be efficient at work and get your work done, and then find uh, whatever free time you can and be disciplined about using that time to try to learn something uh, when it's available, particularly when you're traveling and you're away from your family is a, is a really good time to do it. Um, but again, discipline and efficiency, uh, I think, are the key, key to getting it done. I think the most important best practice is to realize that you never know at all. Uh, and that uh, learning is a continuous, lifelong process. And beyond that, I think there are two things that really matter. One is, is reading, and then the other is, is getting in and amongst people who you respect as leaders and, and who are smart people uh, from whom you can learn. On the reading side, I think it's important that you be very selective and very efficient. Uh, you can't read everything. You have, to, you have to try to be very careful to pick the things that matter the most, and they don't necessarily fall right inside your particular security field. It's important to learn about business and politics and, and uh, a number of other subjects as well, and then to try to read as efficiently as possible. Know when it's time to skim and know when it's time to really bore in and read. So I think that's the best advice I could give to somebody on lifelong learning.